Good morning. Um, so we are in uh, in Portugal, um, on the coast, close to Sintra. Uh, it's about half an hour from uh, from Lisbon, and uh, came here to see how the bees are doing. Um, so this is their new spot, and uh, we'll come back to it. But uh, just to show you where they were before, um, here in uh, conventional beehives. Um, but we had some problems recently. Um, there's a, a microclimate here. It's very foggy, very humid, very windy. Um, and uh, those were under the canopy. Um, so there, there was a lot of uh, water coming down. And uh, they didn't like it very much. Um, some of them left, uh, some of them slowly um, died away. Um, so this is an attempt at uh, making them a better location. And, uh, and we'll see. <coughs> um, so it has a roof. Um, so they are protected from, better protected from the rain now. It won't uh, run down around the hives um, so they should keep warmer and um, it has a stone foundation so a little higher I think they prefer it ideally it's like one meter high and uh, then the, the hives are made of uh, of cub um, which is a mixture of uh, clay dirt from the garden, two different colors, um, and uh, with uh, mixed with straw, with uh, sand, and uh, with water. Um, and if I get closer, yeah, you can see some bits of straws um, coming out. Uh, so the one on the left is is a cob only, uh, the whole structure. The one on the right is. Uh, mostly cork slabs from straight from the trees um, and then cemented together with a uh, with cob and uh, the lid is also cork um, <laughs> it's a pretty popular material in Portugal I think Portugal produces more than half of the world's cork um, and these leads, uh, the cork has been pressed, boiled, something, uh, so that the resin comes out. And uh, but it has no chemical in it. Um, but it's also not fully waterproof, so that's why you also definitely need a roof if you use that. Um, and they are, I made them exactly the same size as uh, commercial beehives. Uh, so that we're gonna open one in a minute, but um, I could put the the wooden frames um, for the the bees to to build the hives, and you can also add uh, floors on top uh, later to get honey. Um, the hives have uh, normal uh, not normal but entrances. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's just holes. Um, not sure you can see in there. Maybe not. Um, but um, just holes through the cob um, and here through the cork. There you go. Although on this one, when they came in, there was a hole here. The lid wasn't that big, and uh, so they got used to coming this way. And then I put a bigger lid, but <laughs> it chewed on it um, to make the same entrance again. Um, and um, yeah, so these these um, colonies they came uh, maybe a month ago or something on their own from from around. So at least they liked it. The 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 house made of cob. It's a really good insulation material, both the cob and the cork, for temperature. The cob is also really good at regulating humidity. 
and both are important factors inside the the hive and um, it's very easy to make very flexible you know the the, the mix between straw water sand um, dirt is uh, you know is flexible and uh, you quickly get a sense for it and it's uh, dirt cheap <laughs> um, all right, so let's open this one. So these came later, a few weeks ago. But it seemed to be a pretty big colony already. Um, so. There they are. Some brand new wax, really white in there, and uh, they're working. And here, as you can see, I made some uh, spots in the cup to to um, to put the frames in so that they won't move. All right, let's close it back. Um, yeah, so I'll put some pictures after this video of, uh, of the, the building process, uh, but it's all very simple, really, and uh, and, uh, and I think it's working. I, I mean, in in different regions of the world, uh, they use. Um, I think in Africa they use clay pots, so it's kind of similar. In Portugal, traditionally, they use cork uh, to make beehives. Hi right to the chicken. And, uh, and um, yeah, so that, 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 should, uh, that, should be, that should be good for bees. Uh, the, the walls are about five or a little more centimeters thick, uh, and um, yeah, if you make some, please send me pictures, um, and um, may the forest be with the bees. Goodbye. Buck, buck, buck. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, buck.